for leases, the determination of a sales type versus a direct finance le lease actually is fairly simple. So if it's an operating lease, that's it's called the same thing on the lessee and the lessor side. On the lessee side, the person leasing it, the tenant, they just simply call it a capital lease. But on the lessor side, the owner or the landlord, they need to make the determination, is it a direct finance lease or a sales type lease? So again, to review the lessor is that can be thought of as the landlord or the, the official owner. The lessee is the person leasing the asset. An operating lease, that is a true rental agreement, while a capital lease really isn't a lease at all. It's just a different financing arrangement that's called a lease. For operating leases, it's called the same thing on both sides, but for the capital lease, it's just called something different. It's how we look at this. Now, FASB has been considering making changes to the lease rules, but nothing is set. And there's been a lot of resistance in industry, so it may not happen. But this will look at the difference. What is the difference between a direct finance lease and a sales type lease? Well, first of all, on the on the lessor side, the four criteria must be looked at. Only one must be met to be determined capital lease. And then additional criteria for the lessor, the owner, or the landlord. Uncertainties need to be addressed and collectability in order for it to truly be classified as, as either type of capital lease. But the simple thing is just look at it as how many profits are you earning? With a direct finance lease, it's one profit. With a sales type lease, it's two profits. So direct finance lease, this means that the owner purchased the asset and is turning around and leasing it for the exact same cost that they paid. So the only revenue to be earned by the landlord is interest on over the term. So it's it's sort of like being the person or the financial institution that holds the note, only instead of calling it a note, we're calling it a lease. On a sales type lease, it's different. So this is where the landlord purchases a product or an asset, turns around and leases it for more than they paid for it. So not only are they going to have a return of principal and interest over the life of the lease, they also get a gain on the sale. Direct finance lease, the fair market value will equal the original asset cost to the landlord. So there's no additional profit besides principal and interest that's coming in. Principal is return of the selling price plus the interest. That's the only revenue. Sales type lease, the fair value or the selling price of the asset being leased is being set greater than the landlord originally paid for it. So there's an additional profit. That's why it's one profit and two profits. And looking at the different journal entries to initially record it, direct finance, there's no additional revenue, so you just record an lease receivable and the asset. And then over time, you'll record interest revenue. Sales type lease is different because you're selling it for more than you paid for it. And when I say selling it, that's still a lease because a capital lease is nothing more than a finance agreement, just like an installment note. But usually the journal entry is presented just a little differently. You're going to present all debits first and then all credits, but it's still the same sales type entry. So we're going to look at, a, at an example and compare direct finance and a sales type lease. So let's say on January 1, 2013, Chance Company entered into a lease agreement with Luck Company for computer equipment that has a fair market value of $130,309. First lease payment is due on the day of inception of the lease. So you're going to think annuity due with six equal lease payments of $25,000. The cost of the equipment for Luck Company equaled the fair market value. With this information, you need to say, think to yourself, is this a direct finance lease or a sales type lease? And the information is here to make an easy determination. It is a direct finance lease. There's only going to be one profit. Here's your initial entry. 
You're not recording revenue at the moment. You haven't earned any revenue yet. You simply lease the receivable. And when they start paying, part of that payment will be return of principal and interest. But the the reason this is a direct finance lease is because of this sentence. The cost of the equipment for luck equaled the fair market value that they sold it for or that they leased it for. So it's one profit. Looking at some numbers, asset present value, total payments equal more. So that difference, that's going to be your interest. No sales revenue is recorded. No cost of goods sold is recorded with a direct financing lease. And we can look at the numbers in an amortization table. Look at the totals at 6% interest. And our totals. So the difference between 133.09 and 150, that's going to represent interest revenue for the lessor, interest expense for the lessee. Now let's look at another example. Same thing. Chance Company entered into a lease agreement with Luck Company. The only difference is the cost of the equipment for Luck Company, the lessor, was 93.427. They leased it for 133.09. This is a sales type lease and your journal entry will look different. Lease receivable, cost of goods sold, sales revenue, that 13309 it should be tabbed over to the right. It's just a glitch in this PowerPoint. But sales revenue, of course, is a credit. On January 1, Chance Company entered into, so this gives you the same problem. Let's break down the numbers. Sales revenue is going to be recorded and cost of goods sold is recorded because of this information. The fair market value is 13309. That's the initial lease, the principal amount. The cost of the equipment to the lessor was less, so it is a sales type lease. And we can look at the amortization table is identical with these payments because there's no other variables into this. So again, to summarize, a direct finance lease is simply one profit. Sales type lease is two profits. You have the initial gain on the sale or the gross profit on the sale in addition to the interest that's going to be earned on the lease. Because the key here is a capital lease is identical to an installment note. It's just handled differently on your book.